The name of this game is Space Rescue. It's a one computer to one student game where basically the student will have to guide the spaceship to deliver medicine to the various planets that need it. I'm going to come down here to the lower right and click the continue button. First what I'm going to do is give you an overview of how the game is played and then I'll tell you a little bit how you can edit the game to put in your own questions. First we meet our boss here who tells us that lots of planets are sick and need some medicine and we need to deliver it and that we'll have to answer some questions along the way to do that. I'm going to click the continue button. First what we'll be able to do is do a test mission. This test mission will first allow us to get used to how to guide the spaceship places. Basically what we're going to do is move our mouse through the stars all the way to the planet over here on the right. If we can do that without touching any of the stars, we'll be successful in guiding our spaceship to the various planets. Um, the missions will get harder, the stars get bigger, the, you'll actually run into enemies that will try to keep you from your mission, and that's the object of the game is to try to get there even in spite of all these object, um, obstacles. I'm going to click on the spaceship here to start this one. And basically what I have to do is try to weave my way through the stars without touching any of them. This would provide a path that the spaceship could then follow to get there. If I was to accidentally touch one, now the boss will come on and tell me that I need to get back out there and try it again. So I'll click try again here. And now we go back and we're going to click the spaceship. And this time I'm going to have a successful attempt here and get over here. Now after we've done that, basically we have uh, learned how to navigate the game. What we're going to do is you get some instructions on how to answer questions that are going to now appear on your screen. We'll see that there's A, B, C or yes, no, true, false down here and we have to choose the correct answer for the question that's been put in. I'm going to click the continue button. And here we have our first question that's come in on our screen, the capital of North Dakota. If I was to get this wrong, or if I was to get this wrong, let's say I'm going to click the letter A. And now we see that's not exactly right, so we come back and click the Try It Again button. And then we could continue this process to what we're going to do now is we want to click on the right answer. And now once we click letter C, Bismarck, now we can click here to keep going. We go to our next question. Same thing here again, you're going to choose the right answer. If we choose the wrong answer, we're given a chance to try it again. That's basically the way the game is played. You continue answering the questions until you get to the next mission, and then you will guide your spaceship through, answer more questions, guide spaceship through, and you continue until you run out of missions or uh, you run out of questions. So now I'm going to talk with you a little bit about how to edit Space Rescue. The first thing I'll encourage you to do is to decide how many questions you're going to use or how many questions you have to use in this PowerPoint game. There are a number of slides and you can of course make as many questions as you want. The game comes pre-made with about 15 or 20 slides that are questions but you could obviously add more or reduce those if you needed to. So the first thing I encourage people to do is decide how many questions you actually have that you're going to put in here. After that, editing a question slide is relatively simple. I'll click on slide 8, which is the first question slide. I'm simply going to follow the instructions here where it says to place your question there, and then you'll notice down below it will say where the incorrect or correct answer should go. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to type, what is 2 plus 2? Question mark. After I've done that, I'll see that incorrect answer needs to go there for A, and also an incorrect answer here for B, and then the correct answer needs to be letter C. So at letter C, I punch in the correct answer, and then so on there, I'll put a false one. Now remember, this is PowerPoint, so you can make these questions bigger, smaller, make them bold, change the font, whatever you want to do to them, it's just PowerPoint. You can actually insert a picture or photo and ask a question about that. All those types of things are possible, it's just simply PowerPoint. You'll continue this process until you've gotten in all the questions that you want into the actual game. You'll notice that as we scroll down here on the lower left, on the side, on the left, you can see there are 
about four question slides in between each of the mini games. And then here we come upon a mini game. It's important that you not delete or move any of these mini game slides. If you did happen to move or delete some of them, then just simply go in and open up a new template again, open this Space Rescue template up anew afresh and start over or copy and paste your slides in, etc., from the other one. Um, or you would probably have to just simply copy the text and paste in your questions is what I would do. Instead of copying and pasting the slides would not appropriately get you what you would want. Um, as we come down through here, you can see we continue with more questions, etc. If you continue down scrolling far enough, um, you'll see that there also uh, are included about three or four mini games in between each one of the question slides as we go through there. What I encourage people to do is to again figure out how many slides you how many questions you want after you find that many questions and put in that many slides that you need. So in case you needed some more, you could add them before you got started. The reason for that is because you don't want to simply continue to add add the same slide over and over so that everything becomes the same letter C answer. I encourage you to move your slides around so that the answers don't always come in the same place like I'm doing here. Um, the other thing is, if you need to make an, another question slide, if I needed to make a, another one of these, it's not advised that you right, right click and choose copy or choose edit and copy because that will actually not copy everything that needs to be copied for this whole slide. What you're advised to do is right click and choose duplicate slide. That's right click and duplicate slide. If you're using, uh, that's for Office 2007 PowerPoint. If you're using Office 2003 PowerPoint or earlier, you would click the slide, go to the insert menu, and then choose duplicate slide. But that's what you want to do. You don't want to simply copy and paste the slide because that's actually not going to copy all the information off this slide that you'll need to make it look right. And that's basically all there is to it to editing the Space Rescue PowerPoint game. To begin the game using Office 2007, go to the Slideshow tab and click one time. After clicking on the Slideshow tab, click the From Beginning button on the far left. This will begin the game. To start the game in any version of PowerPoint before Office 2007, go to the Slideshow menu and choose View Show. This game is designed for individual student use. It is designed to be used in a one computer to one student setup. Suggested uses are to place a finished game onto a resource computer in a classroom and allow the students to play the game for enrichment or review. Alternatively, you could place a finished copy in a computer lab and place one copy of the game on each computer or on a school server. As with any of these template games, teachers are encouraged to allow students to create these games using the teacher's own curriculum. If you receive a security alert when beginning this game and you're using Office 2007, simply click the Enable This Content button and then click OK. Please note, if you are using a version of Microsoft Office prior to Office 2003, some of the features in these games may not function properly. It is advised that you do your editing of the PowerPoint slides or games in your older version and then use Microsoft's free PowerPoint viewer for actual game play. To download the free viewer, just do a web search for PowerPoint Player 2007.